for today everyone hope you all are really doing great and your impression is going really well so here is another video which will be really helpful for you to revise all the core concepts of your ncrt or i can say line by line terms of your ncrt so what i have made is really simple let's say take this chapter animal kingdom i have given nearly 120 plus questions okay including the topic um let's say i have mentioned like platy elementals whatever phylum we are going to see in this okay so that's what line by line of your ncrt i have prepared the random questions and you are going to simply answer the question let's say if i'm asking the first question you need to answer the question and you will get to know how many questions you are able to answer from this particular chapter topic or the chapter and if you think some in some topic you are unable to answer you need to revise it again okay it will basically help you to understand your uh, level of uh, preparation for the particular chapter which you are going to answer now okay if you think uh, you are facing so many difficulty in answer the question you need to please revise the chapter again and try to answer the question by seeing the video again okay are we clear to this so there is no uh, options mentioned here because these are the random uh, random and the questions taken from your line of ncrt only so if you have understand the chapters properly you can easily answer the questions okay so without any delay let's get started but whenever i'm asking the question please don't see the answers here okay let's say if i'm asking what are the basics of classification try to answer it by closing your eyes or immediately try to answer it once it is done try to see the answer over there okay because that will help you to revise instead of seeing the answers immediately i have given the answer here before if anyone have any doubt in any question it will be easier for them to clarify okay let's get started so the first question this this set of questions is based on your the basic introduction of the classifications only okay so what are the basics of classification in animal kingdom or what are the basics of classification they have mentioned so they are your arrangement of cells body symmetry your nature of coelom and your patterns of DZR, that is digestive, circulatory and respiratory system. The next question is, what are the types of symmetry? The types of symmetry seen in your animal kingdom is of three types, right? They are asymmetry, radial and bilateral. Now, examples of your radial symmetry. What are the uh, phylum which shows radial symmetry? It is your coelentrate, stenophora and echinoderms, right? And in echinoderms, it is depends on whether it is of uh, larva or adult, okay? It shows two types of symmetry. Now, symmetry seen in your mollusca, it is your bilateral symmetry, right? Whether like how do I know which organism or the phylum, so which type of symmetry or a coelom, for all this I have already made the trick video, right? In this I have made all the examples also to answer all the type of questions. So don't be afraid, try to see this video and come back. So it will be easier for you to answer these questions, okay? Now, classification based on germ layer. Based on germ layer, how we are dividing the organisms we are dividing into two types right one is your diploplastic and another is your triploplastic now the next question is arthropod shows diploplastic or triploplastic arthropods are your triploplastic animals okay now the next question cylindrate or the examples of diploplastic okay mesoglia is present in diploplastic or triploplastic so it is obviously a diploplastic because in triploplast we do have a term called mesoderm which is a true layer but this mesoglia is not true it is like right like a layer so mesoglia is seen in your diploplastic now we will move on to the next question based on the coelom how we are dividing the organism what are the classification we are dividing into three types right acylomate pseudocylomate and coelomate so those are the answer for this now, pseudocoelom is seen in, that is your false, we can say, right? Pseudocoelom is seen in your Ascalimanthus. Now, body cavity is absent in which phylum? So, body cavity is absent mean we refer to as acylomate, right? And acylomate is seen in your platyhelminthus. And hemichordates are coelomates. Hemichordates are your coelomates. Again, I am saying to memorize all these examples, tricks is already made, refer to this video to help you answer very easily now the next question is metamerism is seen in which organism is obviously your earth mon metamerism is nothing but the serial repetitions of the segments right that is seen in your earth mon. now the next question notochord is originated from mesoderm your notochord is originated from your mesoderm now notochord formed on which side during your embryonic coid de development is it dorsal or ventral the answer is dorsal okay 
with this we are wrapping up with the basics of classification now we are going to deal with phylum by phylum the first question will be from the porifera only so the member of porifera are commonly known as sponges freshwater demosponge which is called as the freshwater demosponge it is your sponchilia okay actually till platyhelminthes i have made some topics outright from ncert also so don't be afraid of this question these are like uh, generally asked a question maybe in some exams they have asked that's why i have included these topic also but after that i thought only we will deal with the ncert so don't be afraid if those question come thinking like i have missed okay i have given notes for all these extra points also i have added it is only few so just try to bear with it from after platyhel menthes you will have e only questions from your ncert okay these are also important that's why i have included now now the porifera are generally found in marine okay the symmetry seen in porifera is asymmetry now what is the most primitive type of porifera but this might not be there let me give you okay porifera or sponges is of four type okay the first one is ascon type the next is sicon type the next is lugon type and the next is dragon type these are the four types now what is our question most primitive type whenever it is primitive you need to give the answer ascon okay ascon type now sponges have dash system there is a special system in your sponges right what it is called it is called as your water or water transport or canal system right water transport or canal system now which type has conical shape or broad base so here if you see the conical shape and broad base is seen your ragon type so the answer will be as a ragon type now water enters through answer me okay in your water canal or transport system your water enters through a minute pore right what it is called as It is called as your ostia. It is called as your ostia. Now, this is also related to the type. Largest is the flagellated chambers. Which type show the largest and the flagellated chamber? It is nothing but your leucon type. Uh, you can take the screenshot of this if you want. Done. Now we have seen water enters through the ostia, right? Or the ostia. Now water goes out through which? it goes out through your osculum right osculum now canal system helpful in what is the helpful of the use of canal system in your sponges food gathering your respiratory exchange and removal of waste all these are done by your canal system in the sponges now cells lining sponchoceles okay what are the cells which line the sponchoceles are called as it's nothing but your collar cells hope you people are able to answer the question now asexual reproduction in sponges are by it is by fragmentation name the larva of porifera the larva of porifera have two names okay they are nothing but your parenchymula and amphiblastula parenchymula and amphiblastula are your larva of porifera venus flower basket which sponge is known as the venus venus flower basket it is nothing but your epilectella okay i have given the answer also if it is outside of the ncert don't be afraid answers are here now the fertilization is internal or external in your porifera it is internal okay those who have seen the tricks video will be able to answer all this internal indirect everything i believe okay now we will move on to the next so porifera we have discussed okay now we will move on to the next coelom that is your coelentrate or stinere stineria now the symmetry in seen in coelentrates are radial symmetry okay now stineria is derived from what is the reason for this name because these organism used to contain stenoblast or stenocytes okay now what is the use of the stenoblasts it is used for your anchorage defense and capture of prey now what is the level of organization in your coelentrate so from the coelentrates you might have read the tissue level of organization starts right so coelentrate has the tissue level of organization so the cavity present is this is 
also another unique feature of sealant data like in porifera we see the water canal system right so in sealant rate we do have a central gastrovascular cavity okay the next one corals of the sealant rates have the skeleton made of the skeleton is made of your calcium carbonate the skeleton is made of your calcium carbonate they are divided into how many classes this might be also outside ncrt let's have the quick revision these are divided into three classes okay the first one is hydrozoa the next is skypozoa the third is anthozoa now what is the question i have asked here the type of classes now you know the type of classes there are three types and their name the next is type in which medusa is permanent let's say see in hydrozoa dominant polyp and reduced medusa okay in skypozoa medusa is permanent and it will be in bell shaped and in anthozoa mostly it will be polyp okay mostly it remains as polyp and mesenteries is also seen in the anthozoa now what are the medusa and polyp these are the forms of your cylindrate hope you have already covered that also so now the question is type in which medusa is permanent so you are skypozoa the next question which type mesenteries is seen it is nothing but the radial body cavity okay and the mesenteries is seen in anthozoa you can take the screenshot of this also if you want then yeah moving on to the 41 question which form is sessile and cylindrical there are two forms right one is your polyp and in your medusa in which form it is sessile and cylindrical it is in your polyp form because in your medusa it is umbrella shaped and it will be of free living now polyp produce medusa sexually or asexually it produce the medusa asexually whereas medusa produce polyp sexually please be clear with this polyp produce medusa asexually medusa produce polyp sexually now how many ovary is seen in hydra hydra is also one type is belong to the sealant rates and in hydra single ovary is seen okay but there are many testes in hydra what is that single ovary but many testes portuguese man of war which is called as the portuguese man of war i know you all know the answer comment it down now we are moving to the next topic which is your tenophora phylum tenophora what are the common name of the phylum tenophora it is also known as your sea walnuts and comb jellies okay why it is known as a comb jellies because in their body they might be bearing they bear the comb plates right let's discuss on that also and are they exclusively marine or not yes tenophores are exclusively marine now locomotion is done by in tenophora the locomotion is done by comb plates okay now the digestion in tenophora is intra or extracellular it is both intra and extracellular okay now special feature of tenophora what is the special feature of tenophora it is its a bioluminescence that is the ability to emit the light okay so these are the points from your tenophora next we will move on to the platyhelminthes what are the other names of platyhelminthes or they generally called as they are generally called as your flat worms now oh, they are endo or ectoparasite the platyhelminthes are generally endoparasite what is the level of organization seen in this tissue organ or organ system level it is organ level now what are the three classes of platyhelminthes this might be also outside of your ncrt let's take this okay the three divisions are tuberlaria termatoda and cestoda okay and these are the uh, points i have given not so much of important just have a glance okay now the question is three classes name you already know these are the three classes now what is the next question in which class mouth is present on anterior side let's say in first class the mouth is in ventral side in tremoda the mouth is in anterior side and in cestoda mouth is absent itself so our answer will be tremoda because the mouth is present in the anterior side now can you tell me the special sense uh, seen in your platyhelminthes it is your flame cells 
विच पोसेस हाई रिजनरेशन कैपेसिटी प्लेनेरिया प्लेनेरिया एंड प्लेटिमिटस पोसेस द हाई रिजनरेशन कैपेसिटी नो फैसियोला इज ऑल्सो नोन एज यूर liver fluke flaziola is also known as your liver fluke then flame cells are useful in osmoregulation and excretion the special cells are nothing but your flame cell and these flame cells are useful in your osmoregulation and in your excretion okay you need to all, always memorize all those special characters like the bioluminescence in the tinophora or the comb plates water canal system these flame cells all this okay now we'll move on to the next phylum which is your ascalimenthus What are the other name of ascalimenthus? The ascalimenthus are round worm because they are generally show the. Uh, they will be like round. What are the uh, other name of your platyhelminthus? In platyhelminthus, it is flat. Okay, flat and flat. Don't be confused. So platy will be flat, and in the ascalimenthus is round worm. Okay, what is the level of organization seen in this? Here we will be seeing the organ system level of organization. So, what is the symmetry seen in Ascalimenthus? It is your bilateral symmetry. Now, the alimentary canal present in the Ascalimenthus is complete or incomplete? It is complete. Sexes are separate in Ascalimenthus. The sexes are separate. That is dioecious. Di means two sexes are there separately. Okay, so sexes are separate. We will move on to the next phylum that is your Annelida. Okay. Annals derived from Annals derived from which language? It is derived from the language Latin. And what is the meaning of this? It, this means little ring. Okay. So Annals mean little ring. So these organism represent the shape like your little ring. That's why it is derived from the word annals, and now it is called as the annelida. Okay, it is derived from Latin, and the meaning is little ring. So these organism possessing lateral appendages. Okay, in annelida, some organism possess lateral appendages, which is mentioned in your NCERT. So what are they? They are your nares, and what are they called? These lateral appendages are called as your parapodia. Now, which helps in osmoregulation and excretion in your annelida it is your nephridia in case of your ascalimenthus what we see sorry in case of your platyhelminthus we talked about flame cells there also the uh, it helps in osmoregulation and excretion but in case of your annelida nephridia will be helpful in your osmoregulation and excretion now this nares is dioecious or monoecious i am particularly asking for nares not for a whole annelida this nares is dioecious because annelida contains earthworm also right but this earthworm is monoecious okay because within the organ annelida we do see two types of sexual activities nares is dioecious whereas your earthworm is monoecious that means mono within single body both male and female will be present now in annelida reproduction is asexual or sexual it is through sexual mode now we will move on to the next phylum which is your arthropoda which is the largest phylum so far it is your arthropoda because all the in the world two third of your uh, animals belongs to your arthropoda only right all the named organisms now the in arthropoda the body is divided into three segment right what are they your head thorax and in your abdomen now respiratory organs are what are the respiratory organs seen in arthropoda can you name any two or three they are your gills buccals book lungs and or tracheal system okay these are your respiratory organ now in arthropoda your circulatory system is open or closed it is very easy it is open now in arthropoda the excretion takes place through what is the special character here malpighian tubules okay malpighian tubules is the special organ for your excretion in case of your arthropoda now what is the other name of bombyx bombyx is generally called as your silk worm bombyx is silk worm what is called as the living fossil living fossil is the limulus which is also known as your king crab now gregarious pest which is refers to your gregarious pest it is your locusta locusta now 
दे आर मोस्टली वीवी पैरस और ओ वी पैरस दे आर जनरली ओ वी पैरस ओके यूर ऑर्थरपोड आर जनरली ओ वी पैरस ना वी विल मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन विच इज योर मोलस्का विच इज योर सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट फाइलम ओके सो विच इज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट फाइलम मोलस्का एंड द लार्जेस्ट फाइलम इज योर ऑर्थरपोड एंड सेकेंड इज योर मोलस्का ओके वॉट इज द लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सीन हियर इट इज योर ऑर्गन सिस्टम लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नाउ इन मोलस्का द बॉडी कैन बी डिस्टिंग्विश्ड इन टू एक्चुअली इट इज इट इज लाइक इट नॉट डिस्टिंग्विश बट इट कैन बी आइडेंटिफाइड एज योर हेड muscular foot and visceral hump because they don't have a proper or pakka segmentation right that's why i mentioned so here it is your head muscular foot and visceral hump now what is your mantle cavity what is the mantle cavity where it is present it is your space between your hump and the mantle space between the visceral hump and mantle is called as your mantle cavity now an organ for feeding in mollusca which is the organ used for feeding it is your radula okay now we are moving to the next phylum which is your echinodermata the endoskeleton of echinodermata is made up of class calcareous ossicles right that is why the name echinodermata also derived so endoskeleton is made up of calcareous ossicles spiny bodies we can say larva shows which symmetry understand the question in echinoderm the larva the larva shows which symmetry the larva shows bilateral symmetry so then the adult will be showing radial symmetry okay the what is the most distinctive features of echinodermata like uh, in the first sponges we talked about water or canal system and in orthopoda we see uh, we talked about malpharyngeal tubule these are the important and uh, distinguished feature we we'll be getting in our mind right so likewise in echinodermata what it is it is your water vascular system in sponges it is your water canal system but here it is your water vascular system now whether excretory uh, system is present or absent in your echinodermata it is absent in echinodermata we don't have the excretory system Now we will move on to the next phylum, which is your hemichordata. They are generally found in where? It is found in your marine. The hemichordata are generally found in marine. The body is divided into three parts, right? What are they? Your proboscis, and in your collar, and in your trunk. Okay, proboscis, collar, and trunk. Now circulatory system is open or closed. circulatory system is open in case of hemichordata the same question we saw in arthropoda in arthropoda also circulatory system is open now what is the excretory organ in hemichordata your excretory organ will be proboscis gland okay in which phylum we saw flame cells as the excretory organ can anyone who know the answer comment it down okay in which organ in which phylum we saw flame cells as the excretory organ Okay, in case of hemichordata, proboscis gland is your excretory organ. Now, give me the two examples of hemichordata because only two is mentioned in your NCERT as well. So please do memorize that. That is your balanoglossus and sacoglossus are the two examples of your hemichordata. Now we are moving to the most important chordata that is we will be talking about as what are the fundamental characters of chordate? So if you are classifying one organism as in chordate what are the fundamental character you will be seeing you will be seeing the presence of notochord and you will be seeing whether the dorsal hollow no chord is present also you will see the pad pharyngeal gill slits okay these are the fundamental characters of your notochord now in chordates whether the heart is ventral or dorsal it is ventral right Oh, uh, sorry, by mistake here I have mentioned as central. It is your ventral. In chordae, the heart is central. Sorry, ventral. Now, what are the three subphylums of the chordata? The three subphylums are your urochordata, cephalochordata, and vertebrata. Okay. Now, we we'll move on fastly. In which the notochord present only in larval tail? In your uro or cephalo or vertebrata, in which phy subphylum the notochord is present only in larval tail? 
it, it is your urochord data okay in urochord data it will present only in your larval tail but in cephalochord data it will extend from your head no that's why it is mentioned as cephalo now branchiostoma which belongs to which subphylum these are the examples i have mentioned here okay the branchiostoma belongs to which subphylum it belongs to your cephalochord data which is also known as your amphiphyaxis, right? Now, the hundredth question is a very special. It is a sentence. All vertebrates are what? All vertebrates are your chordates. But all chordates are not vertebrates. This is a really important question. It has already occurred in NEAT also. Please do remember, okay, this sentence. All vertebrates are chordates. But all chordates are not vertebrates. Not vertebrates. Are we clear till this? We will move on to the classes within your chordates. The first class will be your cyclostomata. So, tell me whether the cyclostomata is your ectoparasite or endoparasite. See, in the trick video, I have mentioned for this also, right? Because for this, no, it is starting with cyclostomata, which means C. So, here there are many tricks to uh, remember with your C. So, ecto or endo? Ecto is having C. So, it is done. Okay. Now, circulation is closed or open. Circulation is closed. Closed is having C. So, it is belong to your bird itself. This cyclostomata. All these tricks have been already posted. Please do watch it. So, it will be helpful for you instead of thinking whether it is ecto and endo going through all the line by by. It is C. So, ecto is C. You can give the answer as ectoparasite. Now, how many pairs of gill slits are present in your ecto cyclosomesta? It is 6 to 15. 15 pairs. Okay. 15 pairs. Now, circulation is closed or open. We already discussed. It is C. So, closed. Why they migrate for fresh water? So, what does it mean? They are generally in marine only. Okay. So, during only spamming. That is your, let me write here. Okay, answer is already there, no? Yeah, spanning. That means uh, they are generally marine, but during this activity, they will go to your fresh water. Okay, now what are the examples of your cyclostomata? There are also only two will be there. What are they? Your petromycin and your mycin. Okay, here also the trick is like uh, my petrol cycle, right? Okay, remember this if you can. My petrol cycle. My is for your mycin. And petrol is for petromycin and cycle is for cyclosomata. You can also make your own tricks, guys. So, it will be helpful for you to remember that. Okay, now we will move on to the next class, which is your chondrocytis. The skin contains, in the chondrocytis, the skin will be containing placoid scales. Heart has how many chambers in case of this? Heart has only two chambers, right? Because we have already dealt how many chambers are there. In fish, we have only two chambers. Whether they are cold or warm blooded, it will be cold blooded. Only after birds, we will deal with the warm blooded animals. Okay. So, these are cold blooded animals. In male, pelvic fin fins bear claspers. Okay. In the males, they will be having the claspers. Okay. Now, torpedo has, torpedo has. What is, what are the special organ which is seen in your torpedo? It is your electric organs. Torpedo has your electric organ. Whereas trigon, trigon, let me write it somewhere. Your trigon has what? It has poison ring. Okay. Trigon has poisonous string. But in case of torpedo, it is your electric organ. Now we will to move on to the next class. Osteocytis. Uh, the first question is the endoskeleton is of bones. Whether the endoskeleton is of bone or cartilages, that will also be a question. In case of osteocytis, the endoskeleton is of your bones. Okay, it is made of bony cavity. Now, how many pairs of gill slits are present? It is four. Now, in the first one, what is that? Cyclostomata. We see five to sixteen, right? Let me recall. 6 to 15. 6 to 15 in case of psychostomata. So, in case of this osteocytis, we do have only 4 pairs of gill slit. Now, the skin is covered with, in case of osteocytis, the skin is covered with your 
cycloid or stenoid scales so how it is covered it is covered with your cycloid or stenoid scales now which helps to regulate bion c okay in case of osteoarthritis there is a presence of air bladder which helps them to regulate in their bion c but in case of chondrocytis the air bladder will be absent okay like say uh, if i am talking about air bladder you need to connect you need to think of other classes whether it is present or not because for all the one i can't repeat the same question right so think so if it is present in this osteoarthritis and it is absent in i have read like it is absent in some so where it is it is in chondrocytis so because of this what these are, these will do this will keep on swimming right you might have seen in your ncert last lines it is keep on swimming because due to absence of air bladder but in case of osteoarthritis it will be having the air bladder you need to relate to all the points whatever we are discussing okay now hippocampus is present in because this osteoarthritis might be present in marine as well as the fresh water so now tell me hippocampus present in fresh water or marine it is present in your marine <clears throat> class amphibia the body is divided into two what are they head and your trunk now the next question which represent the ear instead of ear it will be having a tympanum right in amphibia there won't be a external ear instead tympanum represent your external ear now alimentary canal urinary tract and your reproductive tract opened into a common chamber in case of your amphibia what is this that is your cloaca okay all these three will be opening into a common chamber which is your cloaca now limbless amphibia which is referred to as your limbless amphibia comment it out don't see the answer before commenting okay now the class reptilia the class reptilia are cold blooded or warm blooded these are also cold blooded animals what are the cold blooded animals actually they are poikilotherms right they can't regulate their body temperature according to the outside temperature but in case of us like human we are homeotherms which means warm blooded and we can regulate our body temperature according to the surrounding now ripri or reptum means creep or crawl right because the word reptilia is derived from your ripri or reptum which is referred to your creep or crawling these re reptilia or creeping animals right or they will crawl that is the meaning now here also external ear opening is present or not here also it is not present and it will be represented by your tympanum as we dealed with your amphibia now usually they have how many chambers read the question well it is not like uh, compulsorily they will have only this much chamber usually they have how many chambers usually they have three chambers now why i have mentioned the word usually because we have the exception right where we already seen with the trick race you might have, if you see the previous video you will know race means reptiles amphibians and exception is of crocodile right so usually the reptilia will be having your uh, three chambers but in case of crocodile it is only it is of four chambers that is the exception now we are going to the next one your class apes okay what is the special features of your apes the apes the special features is your presence of the feathers to fly but some birds can't fly can you name that bird it is your ostrich it is your ostrich the four limbs are modified as in case of apes the four limbs are modified as your wings so i'm sorry ha huh. your wings are nothing but the modified four limbs in case of apes i have also mentioned another question here oil glands present at in case of apes the oil glands are present at your tail okay oil gland will be present at your tail now are they warm or cold blooded i have already mentioned right that these are cold blooded i'm sorry warm blooded it can regulate their own body temperature finally we are moving on to the final class of the phylum chordata mammalia it is us so what are the use uh, unique character for us the name mammalia itself can say you it is the presence of mammary glands okay now the skin of mammal is unique in possessing our skin has what our skin has hair okay that is the unique character of the mammalia skin now are we warm blooded or cold blooded we are warm blooded so oviparous is seen in 
why have I mentioned oviparous? Because in case of mammalia, uh, we are generally viviparous. Okay. But in case of oviparous, we do have oviparous in the case of mammalia, which is your platypus. What is oviparous? Which means they will hatch the egg, right? That are oviparous. Now, blue whales are oviparous or viviparous? They are viviparous. Only a oviparous is a plat oviparous that is platypus. Have I confused anything here? I mean, in class mammalia, we are generally viviparous only. But do we have exception like the platypus, which is your oviparous? Your blue whale is a viviparous only. Now, so we have dealt with all the phylum classes and everything. No. Now, I will be throwing random questions without the answers. Okay. Random questions from any of the phylum. Okay. Quick answer you need to give. The first, let me take this along. What comb plates? Comb plates belong to which phylum? Now, the body segmentations are seen in. I mean, the body segmentation like rings are seen in. Like rings. Now, joint appendages are seen in. Proboscis. Proboscis refer to which phylum? Now, round worms. Which phylum is called as your round worm? Radula. Right? It is a feeding organ. In which phylum we talked about radula? Water vascular system. Which phylum possesses the water vascular system? Hope you people answered all the questions, right? If you have followed all this, now you can answer all this very easily. If not, it's okay. Try to revise it again. If you think if I'm showing the answer side by side, no, it is not useful. Tell me in what way I can make it more easier and helpful for you guys please do comment it out so i can make the videos better for you all and before leaving we will discuss the answer for everything so those who okay let me start comb plates are seen in your tenophora and body segments are ling like rings in your annelida we talk no annals means little rings now joint appendages your arthropoda because poda means appendages only arthropoda Proboscis. Proboscis seen in your hemichordata, which is your excretory or organ. Now, round worms. Round worms are your ascalimenthus. Flat worms are your platyhelminthus. Radula. Radula is the feeding organ in your mollusca. And water vascular system is seen in echinocordata. Those who have answered everything correctly, really I am appreciating all guys. So, tell me for which chapter you need the revision next. I will keep on working on it and let me know if it can be improved in any way. Thank you. See you in the next video.